This former fish market in Lisbon provides almost no clues as to what is happening inside, but this is where the Volvo Ocean Race 1 design fleet is having a major refit program, 16 weeks of intense work to take a fleet that sailed around the world into almost new condition. Yeah, we're pretty fortunate here. Like, I mean, obviously the two biggest things we want to do is make sure that one, that there's total confidence that the boats go through the whole refit process as, as a one design boat and the teams feel that the boat they're given is identical to the boat that's been given to anyone else in the race. And then the other thing that we're really striving for is to make sure we give the teams a boat that they feel almost you know, is brand new. You know, like the boats have done anywhere ranging from 40 to 70,000 miles. And we just want to make sure that, you know, when the guys take you know, ownership of the boat again, they step on board thinking that, you know, this boat could have only done, you know, 500 miles. Basically weeks one to three are spent in this bay here. We call it the strip down bay. Pretty much the entire boat is emptied here. Everything comes off, all the deck hardware, all the electronics are ripped out of the boat, all the hydraulics, keel systems, there's pretty much a bare boat leaves from the here in three weeks time and goes into the spray booth. Next process for weeks four, five and six is what we call the one design paint and this gives us the liberty to be able to then further down the track get all the deck hardware back on the boat before branding is known. In the refit bay about another about yeah, 1.5 kilometres of wiring goes back into the boat, all new networks, everything is replaced. The, um, all the deck hardware, the Hark and Winch system has been massively upgraded. The guys have been really good to us there. And that's where every department is getting everything back into the boat. At this point we're looking between, it's close to six to six and a half thousand man hours into each boat through that 15 weeks. The, uh, there's four thousand into all the departments from sail making, electronics, boat building, hydraulics, rigging, all that kind of stuff. And then there's about two to 2,400 man hours in the painting and branding. It's obviously become a huge part of the whole project. And then all the componentry, floorboards, engine box covers. Looking at the scope of works and even how it's grown just from the fact that we've seen opportunities to do things better or actually take on more work, I'd say pretty much everything in the boat is, yeah, has come off, been seen, serviced, and put back in the boat. So yeah, I'd say there's pretty much nothing is untouched. I think you'd take the boat on and especially if you'd done the last race, you'd be thinking you're getting a new boat for sure.